Hey guys, I have a little fortress of products surrounding me right now. Welcome to the non-makeup part of my project pan. Again, there are 50 products here that I would like to use up by the end of November, so I'm just gonna get started because there is a whole lot to go through. I need to take some pictures of the stuff and then I need to put it all away and that is gonna be an arduous task. So, let's get started. Um, so first of all, I have six perfumes that I would like to finish up. First of all, we have the Diesel Fuel for Life Unlimited, which is, I'm too far away for you to see, but it's approximately here-ish, just a like about a quarter of the bottle left, so it shouldn't take me too long to finish that one. I have the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea in Lavender, and yes, this is a pretty much a full bottle, but it is such a refreshing scent. A mixture of green tea and lavender and it's inoffensive, perfect for work, so that's probably where it will mostly get used and plus the spritzer is very generous. So every time I use it I get a ton of product out. Next I have L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana and this is like watermelon in a bottle and I love it and I don't know why I haven't used it in so long so I'm gonna try and get going with that one. And then we have cherries in the air and as you can tell just by the name it smells like cherries. So nice. It's like those kind of perfumes you got as a child that come with a Barbie doll. So good. I think I still have some of those someplace, little Barbie perfumes I was never allowed to have because I was allergic to perfume. I wasn't. It was just some perfumed soap. That specific soap that I was allergic to, not perfume, apparently, as if that's not obvious enough. Um, and we have Untold by Elizabeth Arden, which I've already gone through a good chunk of that. This is a really nice sort of light womanly scent. It's very refreshing and feminine so again shouldn't take too long to go through that one either. And then we have New York by Autograph. Love, love, love this stuff and so yeah it won't take me long to go through this one at all. Next I have some body lotions that I would like to use up. Two of these were with perfumes. One is a Le Petit Faux Noir perfume um, body lotion which is already about halfway finished anyways and then we have one from Shalimar in a show which again I've used a chunk of this already as well oh my god this thing's like almost empty <laughs> okay this is almost empty so this won't take me long at all to use <laughs> and we have two from Cora's we have Jasmine which is away down here someplace and then we have coconut milk which is about halfway done as well. So this shouldn't take too long and we have a Bayless and Harding sweet mandarin and grapefruit which I will probably actually keep in my bag and use for hand lotion just as I'm out and about. It smells so good. Um, on top of that I also have some body butters. I have one that is Honey Mania which doesn't have much in it at all. Same with the raspberry one. I feel almost like I'm cheating including this one but it counts. I'm gonna count it. <laughs> and I have a Moringa body butter which has maybe a quarter taken out of it. And have an almond one which is about halfway done. I love the almond one, it smells like Battenberg. And lastly is a what's this one? Brazil nut, which has not been touched, but I love the Brazil nut one. It smells of pretty much nothing, which is awesome. And um so it won't take me too long to go through because it smells like nothing, it's inoffensive I would be most likely to reach for that one than any of the other ones apart from maybe the raspberry one because it's like my all time favourite but sidetrack 
<laughs> Whilst we're still on the lotion front, um, I have three foot lotions that I would like to finish up because um, TMI probably, but I have notoriously rough feet and I get calluses upon calluses upon calluses. My record is having three blisters in one blister. Trust me, that was painful. <laughs> but we have Heal Genius, Genius from Soap and Glory. There's not a whole lot left of this. Um, for some reason, peppermint is the theme for feet, but this smells really good. We have the Intensive Rescue Balm from Sanctuary. Again, has very little left in it. It's somewhere down here. Um, this stuff is probably my favourite one. Um, then we also have the Champneys Foot Butter, which is that horrible? Does this just smell divine? It smells like Wrigley's chewing gum. Oh, so good. I can just sit and smell it all day. It just, it disturbs me. This goes on my feet. Oh, it smells so good. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I just need to get into the habit of using it nightly. That, that's just what I need to do. Just need to get in the habit of using it nightly. I have five bath products that I would like to use up, two of which are bath milks and they are incredibly heavily scented. They don't bubble up too much or anything, they just, they're super relaxing, they smell good and they make the bath super silky. So I have, um, they're both by Jane Packer, I got them from TK Maxx ages ago. One is Iris, Jasmine and Sandalwood. Then we have Fig, Sandalwood and Amber. As you can tell, the one with Amber in it, I've used the most. But I'm going to try and use these guys up. I have the Yardley's English Lavender. This is really, really soothing. It's perfect nighttime bath. We have um, Bayless and Harding Sweet Mandarin and Grapefruit Restful, fo Restful Bath Foam. This is really... Oh, it is... Oh, so good. So citrusy. I love it. But this is perfect for days when I'm just really run down and I just need a boost of energy. So, Bales and Harding. Awesome stuff. And then, lastly in the bath category, well, it's not lastly in the bath category, but in the bubble bath realm, we have Champney's Spa Indulgence Distant Shores and... This kind of smells a bit like the Lumpera trees mixed with the cherries in the snow. And I got a bit on my nose. Oops. But it's good. And it sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's sparkly. It's so sparkly. Oh. Love it. Love it, love it. And it's just like really decadent. Like this a big glass jar and everything. But lastly, for the bath area, we have vanilla bean bath salts. As you can tell, these are bath salts that smell like vanilla. So, yeah. And they kind of like stick, like clump together. I don't know why. It's fun. It's like a big maraca. Um, next on to hair, I have two massive bottles of shampoo that I just want to finish. They sit in the corner of the bath and I forget about them because they're not with my other shampoos even though they're right there on the corner of the bath. It's stupid. But this is the Argan Oil Shampoo which is just about there so maybe 200 ml left. And then we have a Keratin Shampoo which is somewhere up here-ish so there's a good maybe 600 mils left. Um, it shouldn't take me too long to use these up. I will alternate them until this one's finished and then I will sort of alternate this one with another shampoo because you can't just keep repetitively using a keratin shampoo because it'll actually like damage your hair more than it does it any good. So that's that. But I've also got a bunch of hair conditioning products. Um, is there one missing? Yes, there is. There it is. I have a keratin hair oil, which only has a 
much left in it. It's enough for maybe one or two hair treatments. Next I have um, a leave-in cream which only has about one or two uses left in it also. I have the um, Charles Worthington Moisture Seal. You put this into your hair after and it's like a leave-in cream as well and this has about three quarters left in it. And then I have two Macadamia Nourishing Leave-in Creams and I have no idea how much is left in them. This one is approximately here and this one is about full pretty much. I actually really enjoy these. Um, they've just kind of sat on my top shelf and gotten gradually pushed to the back where I've somehow forgotten about them so I'm going to pull them out again and um, crazy cats. Anyway. So I'm going to pull them out again and get them used up. The last couple of hair products are just random ones to kind of get me back into the habit of styling my hair, one of which is the heat protectant from VO5. I would use this up anyways, um, especially over the summer where I would like curl my hair a lot but you know just put it in to add up the numbers. And um, next we have the Thick and Full 3D Boosting Cream from Charles Worthington which does amazing things for my hair. Like, like my hair is like this just now, with this stuff it'd be like up here. We're, we're talking like major major lift and I have really thick hair, there's a lot of it so it weighs down really easily. This stuff is like static glue, it just poof, gives me big hair and I like it. <laughs> On to face products, um, I want to kind of finish both these micellar solutions from Garnier, no specific reason, just I have both of them open. Why? Why? This is this is what I do. I open both things, I open two things and get them to like various points of use and neither one of them gets finished. So we're gonna finish them. I have six face masks that I would like to use up. Um, two of them are from Quick Fix, Quick Fix Facials. First is a Mega Moisturising Gel Mask, which is awesome. I really like this stuff. Just kind of put it on as an overnight treatment. And then we have a Brightening Peel Mask, which is awesome because it's like you get to peel off all the skin. And I like to try and I leave it on and see if I can pull it all off in one. It, it's gross but fun and it, it does amazing things for your pores. Another moisturising mask is the Vitamin E Sinking Moisture Mask from, from the Body Shop which is a nice jelly mask. It smells good. Um, and again I would just use this as a night treatment instead of a night mask a couple of times a week and uh, just get it used up so yep. We have a um, tea tree face mask from the body shop which I'm almost almost done with anyways. That's all there is left of it. There's maybe five uses left in there so I'm just gonna try and use as much as I can. Same with the rare earth pore, deep pore cleansing mask from Kiehl's. There's maybe, um, oh wow that's drying up. Um, I'm gonna try and use this up before it dries up. But there's maybe another like four or five uses left in there. And lastly in the face mask department is the Origins Charcoal Mask which I think maybe has like three or four uses left in it. Um, this is awesome for just brightening and boosting the complexion so yep. I have three facial oils that I would like to use up. Um, we have the almond soothing facial oil from Vilida or Wilida, I'm not sure, but um, it's sitting about here. I'd use it all over my face, down on my neck, my decollete, and I have a vitamin E oil from the Body Shop, which I don't think has a lot left in it at all. 
It's about half, just under halfway finished. And um, then we have Clarins Blue Orchid Oil, which is for dehydrated skin. Um, love this stuff. It's really expensive. I can't remember. This was like forty pounds, forty-five pounds. It's the most expensive facial treatment I have ever bought. But actually, no, tell a lie. The Guerlain moisturizing mask was the most expensive one I've ever bought. But Sidetrack oil, gonna try and use up because it's really good oil and it does what it says and it regulates oil production in your face and it's amazing on the chest, on your hands, in elbows, knees. Oh, it's perfect oil. If it was cheaper, I would put it all over my body. I so would. The last category is tanning products because I am determined this year to use up my excess tanning products. I have three things from um, Saint Tropez, two of which are um, facial gradual tanners, one is in light medium and it's almost done and then we have the medium dark which is pretty much full so I think I'll start with this one and then get on to this one. And then I have um, an everyday body moisturiser in light medium so I will work that in somewhere. And the last two um, I like to mix together. This is a gradual tanner from Garnier the Sun Body and then we have the tanning elixir for from L'Oreal. It says lasts up to two weeks and what you do is you layer it up. Once you've had, had three applications of this it will last for like a week to two weeks and I like to kind of mix the two together and it gives a, an amazingly smooth application so try and use these guys up. So those are all the non-makeup products that I would like to finish up before November. Wish me luck. Um, I think possibly the body lotion is a bit overkill. The body lotion and the body butter might be a bit overkill but fingers crossed. I'm gonna try my darndest. So I will See you guys in my next video, wish me luck and um, thank you for watching.